right guys welcome back to another tutorial so in this one i'm going to be teaching you how to practice as a beginner and what to practice so i have some steps that i've laid down here so number one thing i'm going to be talking about is don't be too hard on yourself yeah take it easy on yourself because the instrument can be very taxing and if you've not allotted um time to it it can be very frustrating at times but it is your vision your motivation <laughs> and your mission that brings out the best in you so I would say relax don't be too hard on yourself mind you you cannot learn all the old chords and all everything till you die so keep what you can pick and enjoy yourself if it's triads you can play play your triads If that's all you can play, just keep playing it and um, it depends if you want to improve, you know the music you're listening to before you got motivated to learn this particular instrument. So those are the materials you should always go back to because they motivate you. If you are the type that love jazz. Fly me to the moon. In other words, if these are the kind of songs that motivated you to learn this instrument, obviously you want that's jazz. Then we have gospel. Wow. If that's the kind of song, or maybe it's pop song that motivated you. Different kind of songs that motivated you. So take it easy on yourself and focus on that thing and don't take your eyes off that stuff from that particular genre of music that motivated you at first okay so now always start with your major scale on individual hand or both hands so whenever you come to your keyboard always start with your major scale i have a tutorial i have a video that teaches you piano as a beginner to you yeah, i have a beginner course where i teach you dm me then i send it to you help you it's not free though uh, though for a token it's not too expensive or you join my membership okay so we have um always play your major scale with a metronome let me just move ahead hmm? always make sure you practice with your metronome right hand you play your left hand also to get a video that teaches you um how to play these things I have a video it's going to be dropped in the description below Check out the video where I teach you how to play major scales, left hand and right hand, because these are really the building blocks of music, major scales and chords. You understand? The scale are the, are the building blocks. This is where you form a melody from. When you have a melody in your, in your head. So you want to learn your diatonic scale, which is called a major scale. Learn it on different hands. You can use a metronome. Start with, um, uh, start with 50 beats per minute. Then, you, you know, from there, you, 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 you move ahead with it so okay all right now let's move on so let's play it on both hands so you want to be practicing like this this is how you want to practice to bring out what the best in you play close so as a beginner these are the things that you should really be doing because um they are going to help bring out the best in you so another thing you should be doing or you should be practicing this you want to practice your skill exercises i have a beginner course video on my channel that is that talks about skill exercise so i have exercise like um I have exercises like this. These are the things you should be practicing for dexterity to help you remember chord scales, the way they sound. You see the way I'm using my mouth to sound it as I play. You also want to do the same thing. But it's still so. If you're interested in my exercise, I have one to 12 exercises. And I have a video of it that you can play along that teaches you how to practice these exercises. So to be able to follow these exercises, the video will be in the description below. As a beginner, these are the things you should be practicing. You understand? All right. So the next 
in my list is your chords. Now, you already know how to play your major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. This scale has scale tones. It has chords. It has, um, what's the word? Uh, it's like every head of a family has children, has a wife. You understand? So this scale has a chord. That's where we have our re chord, mi chord, fa chord, so chord, la, ti, do. You want to learn those chords? The video too is in the link. It will teach you how to play chord, how to play scale and exercises. So you want to be able to do this and practice this every morning or whenever it is you have free time to practice. You see? You want to also be able to open your hands up and create that space, you know? You can even decide to play broken chords of those. See? Make it a broken chord. Also practice that way. Then I have chord exercises like um, do do fa fa do do so so mi re do la ti do re do ti do do so do la fa mi do re ti do. I have different exercises that helps you hop around and jump around on the keyboard. Also, another thing you want to also be practicing. As a keyboard is, is your bass your perfect fifth you know because the same way we have major scale and they have chords to make your chords bigger you want to play something like this how do we form this i'll teach you so this is our normal major chord you remove the torch you see you bring those two these are major chord now it's too deep here because you might be wondering this part of the keyboard is deep how the heck are we supposed to play this part of the keyboard i'm explaining that to you now because you don't really want to be playing your chord in this area it's, it's going to be too deep understood so you want to play like this you see you remove the middle note understood then you double up the roots you see what do you do you move everything me fa then so then la then si then do when i mix it together i have do re mi fa so la ti do do you see now you also want to learn your inversions. I also have a video on inversions where I taught you how to play your instead of you moving do re mi fa sol la ti do, jumping like a frog everywhere on the keyboard. You can actually play everything in one position. Watch do re mi fa sol la ti do. This technique and concept is called inversions. That's the first pattern. I can come here again and play do re mi fa sol la ti do. Now let's go to the last pattern. Do re again. Do re mi fa so la ti do. You see, this allows me concentrate my sound in one area when I'm playing and I'm not jumping around. I also have a, a, a video that teaches you inversions and how to practice inversions and what to practice. You understand? And the exercises to follow. Now, the next thing you want to do whenever you see that, after you've done all this, by now your brain is open, like you are ready to, you know, carry out any job that has been given to you. You are ready to play anything else at this stage. So, what you want to do now is you want to choose a song, a very easy song. Go to my channel, you see a lot of songs that I've taught um, beginners. It's not a must you play difficult songs. That has a lot of difficult and foreign chords that you will not understand yet because you are growing. Understood? So, I have songs on my channel. But one thing you also want to practice is I have hymns, I have beginner songs. Practice those things. If you've graduated from those songs, I have other songs that I can start giving you that will help mold you depending on the style. Send me a DM. My number is going to be in the description below. Send me a message. Oh, I do pop style. Can you please teach me pop? Oh, I do jazz. Please, gospel, please. I do secular. In short, I have a, I have a channel where I teach secular songs. <laughs> not this one. I think I should drop the link for you guys. Let me write that down because I might not remember. Uh, Aaron's Keys. I have a channel where I teach secular music. So anything you feel you want to do. Do you understand? So, now, let's pick a song. We lift your name high. Because... I've already practiced all this different uh, variety of chords. Now I want to really apply them. We lift your name higher. 
We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. Shout Ali, 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 Ali. You see, if you want to practice songs. Practice the hymns that have dropped and the rest. Understood? Okay, so the next thing you want to do now um, is you want to make um all right so if you need more help or any other thing on the keyboard because i'm a guardian and i'm here to teach you my 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 pattern works every time i can teach you how to play the piano from the scratch and you can touch keyboardist and you're delivering you understood i have fine i have some difficult videos on my channel i also have videos that are easy for beginners like me and you because uh we have a lot of um, uh, good guys out there they will not be coming to youtube to learn so it is you that is just coming up that is coming to youtube to learn so if you need more help send me a dm i have different courses um for a token something you can afford and we can just discuss and i will send you the course material let me tell you in three four months you'll see the results that you're looking for all right so that will be all in how to practice and how to organize your practice routine see you next time